goal, that is. The League One playoff final, Wickham Wanderers versus Sunderland. We are in the Wickham end today. Basically impossible to get tickets in the Sunderland end. What a massive game this is. Sunderland on their way back up. I'm a big fan of the underdog though. And like I said, we are in the Wickham end. So be interesting one to see how this goes today. Sunderland, they obviously got through against Sheffield Wednesday with a slight smash and grab. I watched that game. Sheffield Wednesday were all over them. They went up the other end and scored. Fair play to them. The Wickham one as well against MK Dons in the semis. The stats were ridiculous. They held out, held out, held out. They basically just grinded and grinded and fair play to them. They got through. So Wickham, Sunderland. Wickham obviously in the championship more recently than Sunderland. Um, they're looking to bounce straight back up. Sunderland haven't been there for a couple of years. We all know the struggles they've been through. Um, so it'd be an interesting one today, definitely. Sam Vokes for Wickham has been absolutely unbelievable this season, obviously from Burnley. Um, I think he's playing at a slightly lower level than where he probably could. So he's my banker today. I'm going to go him to score, but I do fancy Sunderland, although they do have a pretty rubbish record at Wembley. We're driving down to the outskirts of London, then getting the train in. Always love going to Wembley. Should be a good one. Buzzing for this today. Sunderland fans everywhere, Wickham fans nowhere to be seen, but we're Wickham fans we today. Wickham. Come on. Walking down Wembley Way, never gets old. 46,000 Sunderland fans today, about 24,000 Wickham fans, so not as impressive, but this is class. Wickham fan, but wearing red and white against Sunderland, I'm not too sure about that. I miss when Wembley wasn't quite as built up. Also, yeah, this is the Wickham section. Look how much quieter it is. I dread to think what it's, I mean, Simon's in his PSG jacket, so he's a bit neutral today, but it's so much quieter. Wow, Sunderland do this, it's going to be chaos today. Louis, Wickham fan, what are you thinking today, mate? I'm thinking 2-1, I think Sam Vokes header. We've I said Sam Vokes, I fancy him today. We have to score first, don't we? Yeah. Realistically, I think if Sunderland score first, they will dominate play. So we've got to score first. Going to do it? I think we're going to do it. We've just got to play our usual game. Time to have a stupidly overpriced pint. I'm going to go with seven quid. So they poured this straight out of a can. Seven quid. Look at the head on it. Never change, Wembley. We're in. Um, we're up a tier. We're very, very high up. I don't mind it. The vantage point is very good. I haven't sat up here before, but we've got to go with Wickham today. We're all fancy in Wickham. Sunderland, like I said, they've got a whole record at Wembley, but I think they're probably favourites. So I'm going to go 3-1 Wickham. Like I said, Sam Vokes will score and uh, Akin Fenwar to come on as well. Jamie. All Wickham today, aren't we, sir? We are all Wickham. What Wickham are we um, I think it's going to be 3 1. Is that uh, what I said? Wickham again, yeah. 3 yeah. 1 Wickham again. I just think Sunderland will score first, see the unreal limbs. Yeah, that'll be kind. To be honest, I do think Wickham are just going to win in the end. They play good football, so yeah. Well, I don't know if they do because I heard a Wickham fan outside say that they play a bit of shit house football. Um, these scumbags, apparently. So, interesting to see that today. Monet, what are we thinking today, son? Wickham? No, I think I know you said 3 1, but I think it'd be close to that. 2 1, I reckon. 2 1 to Wickham. I don't know, I, just, I know Wickham will be the favourite, especially with all the yeah. fans here, but um, I've just got a sneaky feeling. I mean, they, they did really well against MK Duns. Yeah, they did. So then reckon, they can grind it out, I think, Wickham, which is yeah, yeah. Work, work in their favour. So I reckon they could do it again. 2 1, uh, Akin Fenwell winner. Yes. Come on, lad. So to put into perspective how many Sunderland fans are here, that's closed off for Wickham, whereas Sunderland have got all this up here, and this, this is the Wickham half. So Sunderland have got all of that, all down there. Unbelievable support as always. Fair play, Sunderland. So we've moved seats. We were all the way up here, but as you can see, it's very empty here. Front row seats, much better view, Marsh. Sunderland, that is unbelievable. They've got all this lot up here as well. Top, top support Sunderland, fair play. Yeah. Come on then, the Wickham boys! Come on then, the Wickham boys. Let's be having you. Oh, oh. Hey. oh they th all thought it was in. <laughs> Oh my goodness me! 
four minutes in, Sunderland could have had two here. Wow. What a goal that is. Sunderland, absolutely horrible defending from Wickham. He's ran through the middle of the pitch and I don't know what's gone on with Stockdale and goal. Has it taken a nick off someone? I don't think so. It's just gone straight in. That's annoying. Sunderland have made a better start to be better. Probably deserve that. We're all having a party down there. Fair play. Jeez. I feel a goal in my waters. Here we go. Ping. Chance. Ooh. Five minutes to last time, pretty much nothing's happened. Uh, Sunderland have been a, probably the best side, but Wickham have grown into it a little bit. A bit flat now. Mm. Half time then, Sunderland started really well. They had a couple of really clear cut chances. The goal, we've looked back at it, I don't think there's a deflection. We're a bit confused, I think Stockdale's had a bit of a stinker. So first sort of 10, 15 minutes, it was all Sunderland, but since then, Wickham have grown into it. No real clear-cut chances, they've had a couple of half chances, but yeah, it's been a bit flat the last half hour. I think it's really important that Wickham get the next goal. If Sunderland get the next goal, it could be game over. Interesting second half coming up though. Come on, Wickham, come on. Come on then, Wickham, let's have it now, come on. Oh, that looked like a penalty to me. Ooh. Sunderland players not happy. Shouting for a penalty there. 20 minutes gone in this second half. It's pretty much all been Wickham to be fair. Sunderland have had a couple of chances. But it's all been Wickham this second half. They just don't, don't have the final touch at all. Here he is then. 40 year old Adi Bayouakin Benoit. What a beast man. These lot love him. If he scores the winner, absolute chaos. Chance. Terrible shot. Terrible, terrible shot, man. Wickham are getting the chances, man. Just over 10 minutes left. They just do not have the quality when they get to the final third. It's terrible. Just erupted. Pyro one, Pyro two, Pyro three. Absolute chaos. Absolute chaos. Oh, there's a fourth one as well. <laughs> so you are, there's more than four. There's players everywhere. Fair play, Sunderland. Jesus. You'd think that's game over now after the Wickham chances as well. That's so cool. Stockdale just doesn't move again. It's weird. 2-0, um, 10 minutes to go, looks like it's game over. Chance for three here, chance for three here. Ooh. Don't know if it shows up on camera, but the whole place is filled with smoke. Jeez. Wickham fans starting to leave. One minute left for normal time. Must be a matter of seconds here left now. About to be chaos in that Sunderland end, i tell you that. Oh, not Wickham Scott. Nah, no chance. Sunderland probably deserve that. Credit to him. 
Firstly, congratulations to Sunderland. If Sunderland fans wouldn't mind sharing this video around, it'd be much appreciated. Wickham fans as well, that'd be much appreciated. Um, but firstly, fair play to Sunderland. Really, really fair play. Um, nice to see them back up to, I wouldn't say where they belong because they're bigger than probably the championship, but it's nice to see them getting a little bit of positivity to for once because for the last, like, even, like, decade, it's just been so rotten at Sunderland Football Club. So it's a step in the right direction for them. Um, so fair play, massively, massively well done to them. Um, and their support today was just unbelievable. You saw even walking around Wembley before, it was just Sunderland fans everywhere. Um, their fan base is one of the best in the United Kingdom for sure. Um, 46,000 at Wembley, it's absolutely class and they made a fair racket as well, fair play to them. I think in terms of the game, I just think, speaking to that Wickham fan before, he was sort of saying, you know, Wickham were a bit bitty and like, like a Burnley type and they, they grind results out, which is what I talked about earlier in the intro as well. But just today, I was expecting a good defensive performance from Wickham today, but just, just nothing really. I think Sunderland definitely played the better football, they had the better quality, especially going forward. You look at Alex Pritchard, really good player, been at some top clubs. But going forward, just Wickham didn't have that quality. I think Sam Bokes had a, a difficult game. He was fairly isolated. I think he had that chance at 1-0. And if he if he does well there and scores, then it's a totally different game. But nah, Sunderland make it 2-0 and it's game over. I think I was listening to some Sunderland fans on the radio on the way back and they were sort of saying, for them, it's nice to be semi-comfortable in, in a final before, because like I said, they've got a pretty rotten record at Wembley. So look, fair play to them, step in the right direction. If you haven't enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe um, to the Max on Tour channel. It's doing really well at the moment. Lots of content on the way. Hopefully I'll be going to Forest next week in the final, but we shall see on that one if I can grab a ticket. Um, comment your thoughts on the game as well. Sunderland Wickham fans, let me know. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one, whenever that will be.